The painting was the same as Ember had seen before. Two embers shone clearly in the daylight now, their journey ahead. The forlorn was cold to the touch, different to the others. The stranger spoke. Thank you for coming to help. I can't let another in right now. Ember shared a moment with the forlorn and hoped they would find what they needed. Hidden away was a scrap of journal. The snake is drawn to the light. They are not so fearsome after all. I think they mean no harm. Well now, well now, we've been looking everywhere for you. Fun, fun, over the wall they goes. Hope you have a good excuse for running off, Scab. Ember's heart sank. Ember told the birds about all they had seen in the marsh, pleading for their help. Save your made-up stories for the Forest King. Oh yes, yes, tell the lies to the King. Ember felt nervous standing before the king again. Frustrated, the forest king said, Poor tired Ember, where did you go? You must rest now. You give false hope, try and fail and hurt. This is all there is. Ember could feel the forest king looking right through them. This end. There no more. Why not stop? Let go of this. You must stay. No more foolish hope. Last chance. Take key now. Make sure gates are locked. Let no more in. Let no more out. Ember took the key. What choice did they have? Yeah, this really is your last chance. Don't betray the Forest King again. The stranger glanced around, speaking in hushed tones. You managed to slip down to the marsh? I think I'll look for the campfire there too. Good luck to you, stranger. The stranger spoke earnestly. The Forest King is right, you know. I've seen those embers turned forlorn. It's a shame they wouldn't listen. The stranger inhaled deeply. The cook taught me this recipe. Don't tell anyone. But the secret ingredient is pork. Traveller looked lost. Have you been searching for home too? I wondered so long. But something feels wrong out there. I'm not sure it feels right here either. The 
Ember looked proud. I've nearly earned my full feathers. How are you getting on? The Ember hesitated. Oh, really well? Me too? I can't wait until everyone has to listen to me. Yeah. The crossroads gate was locked. Ember placed the key in the lock and slowly began to turn it. Eagerly, Ember left the birds behind, glad to be free. The traveller whispered, Used to be a river all round here. Watched the birds build the dam night and day. Took them forever, they had no clue what they were doing. It was hilarious. It was an abandoned boat sadly stranded in the mud. Ember was at the entrance to a dark cave. The smell of stale water oozed out, like it had once been flooded, but now was bone dry. was a Gordian knot, impossible to untie. Ember needed something sharp to cut it. The forlorn was not the same as the others, flinching at Ember's approach. The stranger spoke. I don't want your help. I'm not ready to let go of how I'm feeling. With regret, Ember moved on. the stranger said, Look, it's Iron Claw. Friend, this crab is the terror of the marsh. Together we can trap him. I've got a plan, been waiting for someone to help. You help me, and I'll help you. Try lowering the crab over here with the chum in that bucket. Ember found a scrap of journal. In the dark, I slip and stumble, land hard upon my knee. Without thinking, I reach for an absent hand. Crab is all yours. Didn't plan any further than this. Look at that claw, though, friend. Could do some real damage.
Hidden inside was the wondrous journal. Alone I searched, I swallowed hesitation, and at last the doorway opened, but beyond there was nothing. I did not understand. Ember thought of the pigs from the marsh. Someone had tightly sealed the dam's mouth. Ember wondered what secrets it might spill. Inside was a secret diary entry. And so it goes. We try, we fail, there is nothing more. Home is not as I wished. Hope? Do not believe in false hope. The stranger pondered. I just wanted to fix things, to help get the water flowing again. But I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. The bellows breathed life into the fire beneath the boiler. But it would take more air to fully stoke the fire. something. I think there's one more of those valve things. You did it. Uh, I hope we don't get in trouble for this. What a satisfying rush the damn water burst. And I really did hope they wouldn't be in trouble. was inside. The embers rush past in the blur. They must not know what awaits. Poor foolish little embers. A few trip and falter, grasping for a reason to stop or turn around. Everything flooded again. Ember wondered if now they could reach the entrance of the cave.
freed from the mud, the boat looked inviting. The boat was a perfect fit for Ember. It felt like they were on the right path at last. Ember found a secret note from the Wanderer. A few embers flock together. Together we linger. Together we could be a beacon. A lighthouse. way was dark and eerily silent, and Bill wondered why the dam had been blocked. There was a lens on the wall. It looked dull in the darkness. There was a space in the frame for something to fit. It looked like the crystal could be turned, but the handles were retracted. Ember found a lost message. I cannot move on, but I can protect others. We would be comfortable here, happy one day. The gate opened, a thought occurred. What was the gate keeping locked away? Embo had found another unlit campfire at the heart of the cave. The 
the ghost said, Speak, and I will listen. This is the cave of regret. Fear would not allow hope to find a perch here. You must not lose hope, or you too will turn forlorn. Ember thought of those they loved, those they'd left behind. The forest king watches the doors. The campfire will light the way. Find those who are lost. Bring embers to the fire. There are others lost along their journey. Find them and I will guide them. Travel wisely. Return if you have lost your way. The stranger muttered, another lanthorn player. Well, I'm not falling for that again. Inside was a scrap of journal. A rusty bucket rattles in the depths, a meddler from a bygone time. They want to be helpful, piecing together the wood and the gears. I ensure they do not see what they build. stranger seemed troubled. I ran away from those birds, but I can't find the end. The forest king offered me a feather. Maybe I should just take it. moved in the distance. Ember hoped that it was a trick of the light. His body slithered between the rocks, seeming to never end. The stranger was wary, coiled and tense. dark had gifted them friends in the past. The dark had stolen much more. Would this new light do the same?
stranger whispered, I'm so tired. Do you know the way? Wanderer's Diary. No more lanthorn tunes. No more confrontation. Hazy faces put aside. None need face the end. The stranger was tired of pretending. They'd never have made it on their own. Fortune had always favored them. They deserve to make it this far? Stranger spoke simply. Thank you. Terror gripped Ember suddenly. Fear overwhelmed them. The plank was all that remained of Ember's boat. They sat for a moment and despaired. Perhaps the Forest King was right. There was no hope here. A discarded builder robot. The poor thing was rusted in place. The builder's thoughts were stuck in a loop. Turning slowly to rust, only the echoes for company.
disconnected gears in their head turning round and round. Each unshared moment went the same. Lost and uncared for was a dim glow. The years of loneliness had warped the builder's feelings. Perhaps they should be alone. Time spent with others felt like a false memory. Soundless days measured piece by piece. I'm ever so afraid. Keep talking to me, please. My eye. The feathered ones did this to me. It's been so long since I've seen anyone. Since I've talked to anyone. I, I can feel the warmth of the sun on it. An outside place. It's okay if you don't want to help. But it would be so nice to see what you look like. It was wonderful to meet you. Don't forget me, please. The others... the others never came back. Wondrous diary. In a forgotten clearing, I meet a stranger, but they do not respond. Motionless, their body all rock and cold. What has happened? moment as they try to focus their eye on the small blue figure in front of them so that's what you look like i don't know what i expected but you have a kind face sorry i don't mean to make you uncomfortable it's just been so long since i've seen any i've never been good at talking to others you seem different somehow wait how did you get here Doesn't sound right. The snake doesn't want to hurt anyone. Don't listen to what the birds say about them. The snake is just drawn to the light. It was probably just curious of you. The builder seemed to have an idea. You know, maybe I can help you.
This is so exciting. This is what I was made for. It's been so long since I made something for someone. Tempo watched in amazement. Could I get your input for a moment? The scraps of broken wood and metal were being transformed. Could I get your input for a moment? Whatever the builder was making was nearly ready. I, I really hope you like it. Oh, it's a bit rough around the edges. It's uh, definitely seaworthy. Don't you? Ember stood in stunned silence. That is such a relief. Really warms my pistons. I'm so happy. Oh, 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 oh no. I'm not. Well, that's very kind of you. Truly, I would if I could. But if you see any others, perhaps ask them to visit the builder. Ember would come back if they could. Perhaps the builder just needed more time. The boat was a little unconventional, but Ember already loved it. Tremendous, terrifying shape slithered from the shadow. The snake's body coiled around the forlorn like a scaly shield. Uncovered a journal entry. I find another encased by stone. I feel their mutterings, whispers under my skin. They are forlorn. They cannot find home. It is terrifying. The stranger was so lost. They 
thought they could find the way home. The road had turned another way. and coiling, lost forever. Stranger looked at Ember with relief. I tried to go back, but I just went nowhere. Time to go forward, I think. The light acted as a beacon, drawing the snake of Ember swallowed their fear, feeling tiny before the enormous serpent. The forlorn was released from the coil of the snake's body. Hidden away was a scrap of journal. The forlorn have entered my dreams. Their accusing voices inescapable. The stranger's thoughts bubbled up freely. The invitation was clear. Some thoughts were easily found.
some thoughts only whispered. in a complex tongue. had much to consider. The stranger seemed grateful. I think I have to choose for myself. The stranger whispered. Seen one just like you around here a lot. Creepy that one is. Peeping out. Watching you. Yeah, watching you. Specifically you. Ember felt pity for the skeleton without a flower to mark their grave. Ember found a scrap of journal. I kneel in the damp. Tiny stones pierce my knees. The mud soaks, lost, too tired to sleep. I will not be stone.
A strange show had misplaced a memory. They tried to remember, but found more voids. thought remained. Stranger looked around fearfully. I stayed in the nest too long. The spindle was missing a handle, so Ember couldn't turn it. This terrifying shape slithered from the sharpest snake's body coiled around the forlorn like a scaly shield. Hidden inside was the Wanderer's journal. Damn the water. Scuttle the boats. This will be our new home. We will stay in our nest forever. Inside was a secret diary entry. This is the promised home. I have nothing to resolve. 
Close the gates. Keep all lost souls safe. The stranger's heart was in knots. The sun faded memory. With tears, the stranger said, You have reminded me, friend, of the beacon. The light acted as a beacon, drawing the snake of Ember Swallow to their fear, feeling tiny before the enormous serpent. The forlorn was released from the coil of the snake's body. The stranger had been robbed by an icy hand. They had burned so bright, so brilliant. But with flicker and ash, their flame had faded. The stranger looked at their hands tearfully. I had forgotten how warm it feels, just being.
Coast said, You have done all you can, little one. Your journey lies ahead. Your journey is nearing its end, little one. You have cleared a path for others to follow. I will guide them after you have gone. Only the Forest King knows where the final campfire sleeps. Ask them your question. Know that if you return here, you will always be welcome. The stranger spoke simply. Thank you. The stranger spoke. Please take care of yourself, friend. Gratefully, the ember said, I felt so trapped for such a long time. Gently, the stranger said, Love survives us all in the end. The stranger said thoughtfully, Needed better friends. I can see that now. The ember spoke hesitantly. Nothing is endless. Nothing. The taste of fresh air was welcoming as Ember left the caves behind. The forlorn was different. Their gentle music filled Ember's thoughts. They sang. I was Ember. I was bird. I was forlorn. None were my true self. I will not go back to flame nor feather. I will find another way. Ember understood and let them be. Something was wrong. Ember could feel it. It was quiet. All the birds had gone. There you are. You've done this. The king is gone. Gone. What did you do? Telling lies, being tricksy? We had no troubles till this one. The king is dead. Dead? They'll be coming for us now, all of them. Who looks after us now? What does we do? I'm not a real bird, just wearing bird clothes. They're not even a real bird. Who look after them now? A lost message was inside. Feathers red and ashes white. Ember's shelter from the night. Still and safe and nestled tight. Final hours of the fading light.
chains and pulleys in the base of the chair. It didn't feel real. The Forest King wasn't real. Broken boats were scattered on the water. The ghost spoke. Brave little one, few have made this journey. This is the last campfire. Your path ahead is clear. What you do now is yours to decide. This is the end of the path. You have helped all who can be helped. It is time to complete your own journey. A boat lies waiting, but it belongs to another. Their path was not so straight as yours. Seek them out before you move on. It was a dock. But there was no boat. In the clearing, Ember hoped to find answers. Behind the Forest King's puppetry was the wanderer in the red cloak. A stranger spoke. Why didn't you stop? Why not stay safe in the nest I made? Don't you see? This is all there is, just the end. What hope can there be in that? The stranger had dropped their mask. Ember knew they spoke the truth. The path goes nowhere, but we sail on regardless, slipping beyond the horizon, one after the other. I couldn't bear it. In the end, I destroyed the boats. What have I done? Slowly, the stranger withdrew. I wanted to be a lighthouse for others. How do you save others once your light has gone out? The wanderer's thoughts had become twisted. Hiding every day behind a mask. Watching hopeful little ones arrive endlessly. Knowing the empty path that lay ahead. Inside their dim light was a hidden pain. They had watched those they care for turn forlorn. They had locked their hope away, tried to protect it. and Ember's actions had seemed a distorted mirror. <laughs> the Wanderer searched for words. When I reached this place, I could see the truth. This is all that there is. There is nothing that comes after. How do you face that? I'm not ready. I 
I turned back, tried to stop the others, built a little nest. What a mess that was. You hope, you try, you fail, and then nothing more. I thought I was saving them, that they would lose hope if they knew. But without an end, they lost hope anyway. The wanderer took a breath. I thought, I thought it would lead somewhere, mean something. Ember paused. So many places the path had taken them. So many others whose paths had crossed their own. After everything I've done, I don't deserve to move on. Only my boat remains. Take my oar. Finish your journey. Leave this place. Ember knew the end lay ahead. Were they any more ready than the Wanderer? There's a place where the lost embers go as their light begins to fade. 